Hey folks, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com. I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0. Take a peek at our favorite forgetful fishes, skill tree, special ability, a little bit of gameplay. So here she is, the one and only Dory. Uh, she's super, super adorable, really, really fun character, uh, really interesting uh, kind of skill tree and gameplay. So I thought we would check her out and uh, take a peek. So we've got her at level 20. She is ready to go. Her skill tree is kind of sparse, but if you think about it, uh, you know, she's got a, a specific skill set for the gameplay inside the pl uh, playset. And uh, the toy box kind of gets that little bit of added bonus uh, content. So let's uh, take a peek at her skill tree. So first and foremost, in the health and defense section, there's really not a lot going on. Uh, there's primarily just health boosts and then the, the typical helping hand and, and, uh, and team player uh, skills. So let's hop over here to the special ability, which is super adorable, Speaking Whale. I love it. So she does a bunch of damage to nearby enemies by producing these rippling waves uh, because she's Speaking Whale, which I think is super cute. Then we can upgrade that by doing a little louder level one and a little louder level two to make the impact area larger. Hopping over here to look at her melee skills, we can get a uh, swim burst boost. So that allows you to get faster swimming through rhythmi rhyth rhythmically tapping the X button or whatever button your console has. Over here then in the range skills, we've got a few fun upgrades such as out of nowhere, which increases the speed of Dory's bubble attack. Then we've also got the Bubble Barrage, which produces three bubbles instead of one when she does her ranged attack when you charge it. And then Bubbling Up, which reduces the time it takes to charge that attack. Then over here we've got the Give Me a Minute, which increases the duration that enemies are f affected by the bubble attack. So, like I said, kind of sparse skill tree. I, 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 mean, I dare say that you could get pretty close to upgrading the entire skill tree with, uh, with a good amount of points left. I mean, you can see how many uh, skill tree things I've purchased, and uh, there we go. I spent all my points except for one, and I got a lot of skills. So let's take a peek at the skill tree and some of the gameplay in action, and, uh, and take a peek at Dory's gameplay. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell in this toy box because it's my white character test toy box, but she gives off a, a, kind of like this bubbly look. Uh, so and all of her all of her move sets and whatnot have this kind of bubble trail and gives you the illusion that she's swimming underwater, which is kind of cool. I love that a lot. Um, but we can take a peek here at Dory's block. So there's the block. She kind of tucks all the fins in. She gets this crazy look on her face. Uh, we've got the ground pound. There, kind of cool. We've got a big splash of water. And we got her dodge, where she kind of flips around, does all these cool little underwater swimming acrobatics she of course the, she's not a flyer so the, so the character doesn't let you fly but you do get a cool double jump so let's take a peek at the double jump there it is the super jump and while you if you hold x while she's in super jump she gently floats down and if you release then she'll then she'll slam down so that's kind of cool so you get the feel that she's swimming as long as you're holding x after a jump she slowly descends kind of like a joy or alice okay let's see what else we've got going on here um so this is her uh regular melee attack she kind of does the uh the whole fish the the tail swipe thing not a lot of combo moves there but with her ranged attack she's got the uh bubble and then if you charge that ranged attack she's got a triple bubble I love the face she's got when she does it. Great. And then uh, let's. what we'll do here is we'll drop some enemies in so that we have uh, something to show off her special move against. A few frost giants, why not, right? So she got she's got a fun little she's got smack the fish around a little bit. You upgrade you can upgrade her me her melee uh, pretty nicely, and then 
the bubble attack. Man, that is adorable. So she makes people blow up with the bubble, which is kind of cool. So she can kind of stun enemies, making a little fat there, which is super funny. And then let's trigger her uh, whale, st whale speak. All right, so here we go. So she, the attack is shot in front of her. Oh, no, it sent out ripples all the way around her, which is kind of cool. And really, uh, it took care of those enemies pretty nicely. Very cool. I like it a lot. Let me let me drop a few more enemies in because I want to see her. I want to see the attack when it uh, first launches. Get a couple of these here. Refill up my special move meter. I didn't try the the swimming. I don't know if that's helping me move, swim faster. Or, or I'm, I'm not sure about that whole, uh, the, the swim thing, but. All right, here we go. So the ripples, I believe they kind of go out in every direction. Oh, and it stuns the enemy, it's very cool. Oh, and then once the stun's kind of over. So there you go. There is Dory and her skill tree, a little bit of gameplay, some uh, some melee skills. I know a lot of people were curious about how she would perform inside the toy box, and now you've got your answer. So, as always, folks, thanks for watching, and visit us at DisneyInfinityCodes.com.